gueule. Woo! We're bringing the fun. We're what? bringing the thunder. We are thunder. Flesh and blood down under. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Carolina. Carolina. Yes. Oh. My name is Carolina Alvarado. There Carolina we go. Carolina Victoria Alvarado, if you know my full government name, but we don't have to talk now about that. Now we know. Can yeah. we show your passport as well? I mean, if you want to see it, <laughs> I'm showing everybody. Don't do that. Don't get doxxed. <laughs> Cosplayer extraordinaire. Little Winner. Uzi Squirt on Twitter. You're more famous under that. Uh, mo- mo- I want to change that name so you bad. You should, yeah. <laughs> I love it though. But I usually change my Twitter name every one to two months and mm. now I can't. And it's, why? I want it. Well, it's because it's fun. It's my little fun yeah, little name. But why can't you change it? Because everyone knows me as that. Sure. And so like, I feel like I feel pressured to keep it like that. But I want to change it real bad. But now I need to find a funnier name in order to change it. Before this podcast is up, we will find you a funnier name. I need to find um, in the comments. Please give me a funny name. No, no, Fina will come. At Fina, Fina, that's you your job. No, I don't want that name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that name. Exude thickness I sounds do not about want right. Exude thickness. <laughs> please don't call me that. <laughs> so true. Look, Fina's in the house. Um, Kiki's in the house. Kiki Woo! is in the house. And New Zealand's finest. So true. But um, but the focus is you. Unfortunately. You're excited? For what? When is the cosplay competition? It's Sunday? Saturday at Saturday. 6 p.m. Beautiful. I know. You're going to win? Uh, I hope. Two from two. <laughs> Shit, I two fucking hope two. that I'm going to win. I have a feeling, this is just me, my opinion, if you've already won, because it's like loose judging. Exactly. It's unlikely to win again kind of thing. I feel, I feel like they will want to share the love. Exactly. I have. That doesn't sound fair. I feel like they're going to put take that into account that I've won already. Mm. And I it's not I feel. I know that they're going to take that into account that I've won already, especially because I've also written an article for them. Yes. So that's also something, and I highly doubt that they're going to let me win. Cats are evil. Uh, look, no. no, they are not. But How win- dare you? <laughs> win- winning is like... Winning what? Like you might not get first place, but if they give you a law book, or, like, do you know what I mean? Exactly, I think you're still exactly. going to get recognition. Yeah, but um, I want to win. Look, you should win. <laughs> if if, win if so you're the bad. best there, you should win. Like I it doesn't really so matter, bad. you know? Are, you, know. are we going to see like something totally out of left field in this cosplay competition? Like, do you think we're going to see someone rock back? up that you don't know of? Like someone in the cosplay scene, I've been you have asking. no idea. I've been being, I've been trying to be a little rat snake, okay? I've been trying to get in. I've been trying to see, hey, who's coming? Um, I want to see your cosplays. Nobody's budging. Nobody's budging. Fair. I know that there's going to be a dash. Yeah, the dash is already dressed up at the venue. Already? Like right now? They, they, they're doing... You know, they're opening like actually big fucking beef. By the way, this isn't posting until like two, three weeks afterwards, but um, they opened the case already. They said it's at the banquet. They've opened the Dynasty case live at 2.30. I'm like... Why would they do it at 2.30? What time is the banquet at? Five, no? Six. It doesn't fucking matter. This, we're not there. Yeah. The, the play mat's sold out. Online. And I wanted the world, like the world map. Playmats, you were meant to buy them there. It's the yeah. same shit these events keep doing. Like, what? first of all, make it fair for people that haven't landed yet. Blah, exactly. Blah, blah. Like, but if you're going to open something like a case of Dynasty, who's like, who's like, I don't know. Who's going to be there? Who, who's going to be there? I thought if you were at the event in person, you could purchase a playmat when you got there. Well, that's what no, I thought. You had to order those ones online and they're all gone. I don't. I like buying my things in person, which is so weird to sure. me. Like, I sure you can buy things online, but I want to buy my playmat in person. I want it on me. I don't want to pre-order it and then just show up. No, I want it on me. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I knew it was online. I knew I could buy them last night, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go in and buy it. Well, hopefully, like that they have extra stock. Well, hopefully they they're not morons. Yeah, but it's mm-hmm. Channel Fireball, so Who we knows? probably can't get those playmats. Because what I don't want is the scalping shit. Like I'm at Wells. Mm-hmm. It, it's cost me like. 5,000 Australian dollars to get here. Yeah. I'd like to fucking buy a playmat at cost, not also have to pay $300 because they're sold out. Exactly. Anyway, it'll be fine. There's plenty of stuff. Did you see the uh, the new playmat that you can buy? Which which one? There's a bunch of them. No, no, there's the... The Dash one? Mm. The LSS one with the sick looking like leather pattern on it. Exactly. I haven't seen it yet. I only saw it today. Oh, is it the the World Guide? No, this one the we Welcome haven't seen one? yet. So there's Sync, there's uh-huh. Welcome to Wraith the World, like the p- beige colored one, mm-hmm. but there's a different one as well that you can buy. It's brown? That, yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, you yes, did yes, yes, yes. I saw it, I saw it. I saw sick it. looking playmat. Yeah, it's, it looks really cool. I think Kiki showed it to me. Kiki showed it to me on the Someone train. Someone already picked it up. They had a 
Yeah, on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, that one's that nice. Was that it's one's sick. nice. <laughs> um, how'd you find out about Flesh and Blood? How did I find out about Flesh and Blood? Okay. Well, <laughs> um, this is so like obvious. I had a. <laughs> well, sorry. To <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, no, my I started dating a guy, mm-hmm. and he's like super into trading cards, and he's like, "Hey, do you want to get into a into this card game with me?" And me dating a guy, I'm just like whatever, whatever you want. I'll do it for you. And I'm just like, okay, cool. I fucking hated the game. (laughs) Hated the fucking game. What hero? Uh, Levia. Levia. Levia Blitz deck. Terrible. It's terrible. It's horrible. I hated it so much. And then I kept my Blitz deck. And then he got Katsu. I hated the game even more. (laughs) And then when I finally found out, like found out more, then I found Ira. And then I loved Ira, and then I was like, okay, I actually really like this game. I'll just keep going. I actually really liked it. I started to actually really love the game. Mm. And that's when I met a bunch of other people that really liked the game. I met Kiki. Kiki's one of the main reasons why I'm still in the game. Um, I just, everything. Whenever whenever I met Kiki, I found a full like community of people that actually bonded, like meshed with me. Yep. And so I'm very happy. You got to have find met. your people. I in found the game. my I, people. Paul was mine. Like I was collecting. Yeah. I was literally opening alpha boxes at yeah. home. Yeah. But not playing. Then I'm like the store owner of where, like my walking distance store owner mm-hmm. was like, oh, my friend from Magic has a channel. Told to me. Like I checked the channel. Yeah. Team. I literally unsubscribed. Like I. <laughs> No, it's no, like, this motherfucker's but, but, annoying. But YouTube, yes, I'm not everyone's cup of no, tea. No, no. But <laughs> YouTube <laughs> tied in his channel because exactly. I'm also watching other fab stuff, collecting exactly. stuff, and it started recommending. But exactly. then I noticed, wait, he's playing locally. Yeah. So I click on those videos and I'm like, wait, he's 10 minutes away. Wait, he's half an hour away. I hit him up on Insta, doesn't reply. I think I got I you don't by check my e- messages. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got yeah. you on email and he immediately got me connected with a store, built me a deck. I went and played. I'm like, yeah. wait, these are my people. Like I can. Exactly. And, and we, I just, we went every Friday night, drove an hour up the coast, like for six months, mm-hmm. every night. And it was I'm, amazing. I'm very, very appreciative of like the online community mm. because. Twitter's great. Fab Twitter's Twitter is amazing. Great. Twitter is amazing. And I wish I had all of the, I could round up all of the Twitter people and all my little friends on the Twitter and just like <laughs> dump them in my local scene yeah. because. No offense to my local scene, but I'm just like, uh, I've had some things happen, and I just don't like the lo- my local scene. I like the stores. I like some stores. Yeah. I won't. I will refuse to go into other stores in my local scene. What, what things have happened? Just, just things that have like. That you can broad stroke. Like, is it because you're a they, girl? Is it like honestly, that kind of stuff? I d- I'm not going to say it's because I'm a girl, but a lot of things have happened where I'm. J- it's just rubbed me the wrong way. Like, I'm. I don't feel like I'm being included in things. Okay. Nobody mm-hmm. really takes me seriously when I come up, and I understand it's because I barely go up there. Sure. But that's because I am very uncomfortable, and I start having actual panic attacks whenever I have to go down there. Like the yeah. last time I went, I haven't played an armory in about a month and a half. Um, the last time I went. After that, I cried in my car on my drive my on my drive home, and I lived like thirty minutes away. So it was just thirty minutes of me bawling my eyes out. I'm like, I don't want to play this game anymore. I hate this game. I'm not. I'm not wanted. Like it was a bunch. It was a bunch of emotions. Yep. A real coaster of emotions. Um, but then, like, I dealt. I started doing my cosplay. I started working on my new cosplay, and I just started going more online. Honestly, which is, it's not the greatest thing to do. It's really not, but those were my people. And I'm very glad I found a community online that kept me into a game that I actually like. Because if I didn't have that, and I only had my local scene where I do not feel wanted, I would be out, no matter what. What did you like about, like, did you ever play any other card games before no, Flesh and Blood? No, actually. Okay. I really... I Me neither. I bought Pokemon packs because I thought they were cute. I played the Pokemon video games. I tried to learn Yu-Gi-Oh. That wasn't easy. That was not easy. Um, but I never got into magic. I did not like magic. I didn't like the look of it. I didn't like mm. the aesthetic. And I'm a very aesthetic-driven person, hence why yeah. I'm a cosplayer. Um, and that's the, what you like about Fab, the art, the aesthetic. I love the aesthetic. I love mm. the art. I just love How good looking is Dynasty at it. Art? It's Holy amazing. Shit. How do they keep one upping? Like the amount of gore in this yes. set now. Oh, like an that. assassin, they've gone down that route. Is like you want like blades through someone's eyeball. This is the deck. It's insane. So yes. good. Like it's, it's not insane. for me that like Levi doesn't appeal to me. Mm-mm. Like, well, 
Leviah appealed to me because mm. I was like, oh, hot demon bitch. That's my thing. <laughs> that is my thing. Your spirit animal, And then yeah. I hated playing it. So... You That's because you didn't know Man Sent yet. If you got through Leviathan, I through was Boy Sent's <laughs> biggest fan. Yeah. Those, that was one of the only win- the only YouTubers I watched because it, he kept coming up in my recommended. I'm like, oh my god, someone who actually thinks Leviathan's good. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> so it was it was pity views. You're like, oh, you poor boy. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> you poor soul. <laughs> but then I was like, I agree. He's actually doing quite well with it. He's doing amazing yeah. with it, and like I he was schooling people in, in the, the lobby. lobby. Yeah, he beat the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. literally, yeah. but. I, I like to think I'm the I'm the man sent for Dory, but I'm just I don't have the hair for it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I just I'm a Dash main. Okay. I love Dash. That's the thing. Well, you must be very excited then. Yes, I am very crap. excited. I saw I saw all of the new Dash stuff, and I like first I was confused. Mm. I went through like three stages. I was confused. I was like, what? <laughs> Then I was like, oh, cool. And then I was like, oh, this is actually really good. It's very and good. then I was like, wait, is this going to work? <laughs> Can Look, I do this? People have like forgotten that they got a gun that shoots over power for free if they boost enough. Like, yeah. there's so much cool new toys for yeah. everybody, really. I think like the only decks that suffered are the ones no one cares are suffering. Like Briar probably got nothing, but like they've had Rosetta Thorn. It's fine. Yeah. And are any of the good like... There's some any- Rune Blade stuff that's okay, but it, but it's good they haven't like... Yeah. The, man, if it was two legendaries for Rune Blade, no one would be happy. Yeah. And Lexi didn't get much. Like she got an arrow, but like it's not like a specialized like ice arrow or a, anything, you but know? But that's okay because I don't think we needed ice as much as we needed... Just... General the, like like a Bolton card is needed. Like yes. there's this hero from a set that was technically has two very overpowered heroes in it mm-hmm. and two not very strong. Yeah, like seeing a Bolton card. Yeah, and we, we're pretty sure it's stupid good, mm-hmm. but we're about we'll, we'll need to see. We'll need to see exactly. That's exactly but, how I but feel. The fact that it's a legendary for that deck, like even if you're just a stand mm-hmm. and you're gonna play it if it's shit, yeah. now you get this spicy card to exactly. put in that when you do play, you get that feel good moment. That's what like. It's competitive just, it's stuff aside. It it's is good. so refreshing yeah. to get a new card, a new, just new anything mm. for a hero that you play out of just fun. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be good in a competitive sense. It's just, hey, this is refreshing for the people that only play this one hero. Because not everybody has an entire portfolio that they can just. Hey, I'm gonna play this build year. Any this deck, yeah, yeah, they can't just build any deck. Even not from a money house. perspective. Not everyone wants to play. Like, exactly. I, I like like any game I play. Um, League, Valorant, yeah. anything where you got to pick an operator, exactly. I pick one. Yeah, I, I don't want to broad like I don't want to have I a broad. Yeah, to. no, I have a Lexi that I could have brought. Did I want to play Lexi? No, I want to yeah, play Dash. Either. We want to know because you watch Funder. I do. Um, you you I comment rarely. Shut up! First of all, <laughs> I watch every episode. I am Funder's number one fan, and yeah, I'm proud to say that. Who's I, your favorite guest that we've had on so no, far? No, no. <laughs> there's a much more important question. <laughs> who's your favorite host? I can't answer that. You have to I answer. cannot answer that. All right, ending it now. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you actually watch the show for? I watch Phil Mackay. Yeah. That's bullshit. <laughs> watch That's it. bullshit. I watch it for Phil Mackay. <laughs> yeah, well, I've watched Phil. It. You'll meet him. You, I've, he's watched, here. I've watched his one episode twice. He's so good. <laughs> it's so good. We fucking love him. I love Don't him believe too. a word he says, but we love him. <laughs> actually, you know what's crazy? We went to a dinner yesterday. Yeah. His dad was there. His dad's here? His dad, Stephen, nice? shout out to Stephen, is here to watch his son play in Worlds for the final time. That is so Because he's planning to not play yeah. after this, like competitively. He's, he's planning to do more. Because he gave a PTI away. Yeah. He's legit committing to not. He threw he one away. Done. Yeah, he threw away. <laughs> he threw away, gave it to He me. might as well flush it, it down the toilet. Throwing it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zero weight with this. No offense. I'm, I'm starting to get no anxious. Offense. I'm starting to get real anxious. Like we've Listen, played against each other. You know how bad I, don't I am. Talk about that. You know okay. how bad I am at flushing I don't want to talk about that. I got okay. One. I immediately knew who this guy was. See, I've never played against her. You're clearly the favorite. I immediately you knew. Win. Okay. Yeah. I immediately knew who you were. You didn't know who I was. And we sat down. And I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. I got nervous in my sideboarding. Fucked up my sideboarding, and I lost because I fucked up my sideboarding because I boosted a fate for scene, and I will never live that down. I will never. Did she ever try and go myself. go again? <laughs> no, no, I can't remember. But I tried to get go again. It's like fate for scene. I'm like, oh no, but I'm saying, did you pretend you had go again, or did he have to pick up on the board state, or you did? <laughs> no, just like ah, you shit. figured it out. That's yeah, right. I figured it out. 
But I was so mad at myself. I texted Kiki because we have a group chat. It's mm. me, Kiki, Jason Lai, uh, Frank, and then is my- Jason going to be here? I don't know. Yeah, Lo- he is. You love that guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I hate him. Yeah. Anyways. Me too. Jason Lai <laughs> and then my boyfriend. And so we're all together. And immediately after that, I'm like, I just fucked up a game. I got distracted. I got distracted and then I fucked up. I was so mad at myself. <laughs> You're too busy looking up. That's I was the like, <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let's um get you more comfortable. Let's see this Galaxy Black so we can take it off your lap. I'm actually very comfortable with her. Okay, cool. That's fine. I this just wanted to make sure. This is Galaxy Black. It took me two days to make. Incredible. Have you always been artsy crafty? I like, like to call myself a creative. Okay. Um, I'm not just like a cosplayer costume maker. I do a lot of creative stuff. So like I you know how people are singers and artists. I'm just a creative. Mm. I do a lot of creative things. I'm actually a sixth generation circus performer. Yeah, I know. I really want to know more about that, but we'll get into yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get into That's that. That's interesting. Uh, That's going to be the meat of the episode. Yeah. We want to know the whole. That's a foreign <laughs> world yeah, yeah, yeah. to me. I'm I'm a makeup artist. I fucking um, do aerobics classes on the side. I do a lot of creative stuff. I was literally just. Out of the country for my creative stuff. So. Yeah, I saw Italy, right? Yeah, I was in How Italy. did that go? Yeah. I, you said you hated her, right? Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so I didn't hate it. I just. Okay, sport, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it because it's. I signed a no contract. No one watches this, don't worry. Okay, cool. I was there for a certain TV show. I can't say which one. You know what that just sounded it like? It sounded like a really bored, <laughs> really bad porno <laughs> intro. It's like, don't worry, no one watches this. And then, fuck it. <laughs> then you never live it down, ever. I never really yeah. I was there for like a TV show. I yep. went in for like my- Like a talent type yeah, show? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went in for my regular training sessions on Wednesdays, which is so funny because Thunder drops on Wednesdays in my country. And so whenever I'm doing my aerial training, I listen to Thunder while I'm doing just like random shit. It's so fun. It's just so convenient to me. Anyways- um, I'm going to change the day. Anyway, come on. Change it. <laughs> <laughs> it drops perfectly, the perfect time. We try. I try. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing my re- regular. Actually, no, I showed up on Monday because I was bored. I'm like, I'm going to show up on Monday. Why not? And so I'm doing my training and I get in there and my, um, the owner, uh, her name is Danny. She's like, hey, did you know you have um, a performance this weekend? And I'm like, no, I didn't know I had a performance this weekend. And she's like, yeah, you have a performance this Saturday. Uh, and I'm like, all right, I'll get ready. I'll get time off. Because I also have a regular job um, on top of all of my other stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'll get time off for it. Don't worry, I'll show up there. So I show up on on Monday to train for my show on Saturday. And she's like, hey, I'm not going to be there. And I'm like, what do you mean you're not going to be there? That You're the one that sets everything up. And she's like, yeah, I might be going to Rome. And I'm like, Cool. So I'm going to have to set it up. That's great. I'm going to be alone. It's going to be great. Um, she gets on a call. She comes back and she's like, does anybody have a passport? And I'm like, I do. She's like, yeah, do you want to go to Italy um, in three days? And I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I showed up to Italy. They gave me a free ticket. Why would I say no? You don't say no to Exa- that. You don't say no to a free ticket. Because you will regret it more than- Exactly. Yeah. And I don't regret it, even though I lost my passport. But we're going to get to that part. Um, so we do that. I get there. I, they immediately ask us for a COVID test. I'm like, cool. We did a COVID test the day before too. So that's two COVID tests in like seven hours. Two COVID tests in seven hours. Then we get to a different lot and they ask for another COVID test. I'm like, great, another COVID test. I had four COVID tests in like the span of 24 All hours. All negative? All negative, of course. Great. Yeah, I'm a yep. bad bitch. Anyways, um... But my nose was rubbed raw by the end of the day. Oh, it's the intrusive it's one. It's the intrusive yeah, one. Yeah. And so I'm like, fuck. And so they're like, hey, do you need um, anything? You guys can go ahead and chill. And you're like, hey, I thought we had a dress rehearsal at three. And they're like, no, it's Saturday. You're fine. We're good. We'll get you tomorrow. I'm like, <laughs> okay, cool. We're not going to go to sleep because obviously jet lag, whatever. So we're going to go to the Coliseum. We're going to fuck around in Italy. It's 2.30. We're in the middle of the Coliseum. We get a call from a random Italian number. They're like, hey, just a reminder, you have dress rehearsals at 3. And we're like, okay. Um, we're in the middle of this You're getting the trap. real Italian experience, <laughs> yeah. the, di- the chaos, like, the disorder. We're in the middle of this actual, like, death arena. And now we have to leave. We spent $50 to go take this tour, and now we have to leave. It's 30 minutes. The actual studio is 30 minutes away. It's 2.30. Our dress rehearsal's at 3.00. So we book it, we book an Uber, we get back there and then we have five hours of paperwork and they're like, just by the way, you're not allowed to leave your hotel. I'm like, what do you mean I'm not allowed to leave my hotel? 
I just left my hotel. And they're like, yeah, just for your own safety. Um, you're not allowed to leave your hotel just until, just for like four days. I'm like, cool, cool, four days. That's all I got to do. They paid for my food. I got my food paid for. I didn't care. I'll eat underneath the hotel. It's fine. Got super fucked up that night. Bought a bottle of wine, sat on the roof, got really fucked up. It was a great time. Um, but yeah, last minute they told me I wasn't allowed to leave the hotel. And then we had a bunch of rehearsals and they said, yeah, show up here at 930. Show up there at 930, fully dressed, full makeup, everything. We kept getting delayed. They kept delaying us and delaying us and delaying us until we finally got on at 930 at night. So we weren't allowed to leave our, weren't allowed to leave our dressing room. Yeah. Uh, I actually had to get escorted to the bathroom every time I had to go to the bathroom. Why? Is this TV? Yeah, it's TV. It's, it's just it's TV. TV. Oh, it's just, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. but they, was, they want control of everything. So yeah. that right. if they want okay. her, they go get her and it's there. Yeah. Because but they they're kept, paying you, but they're they never on time. They also kept doing that. Yeah. They kept coming to get us and they're like, get ready. Uh, you're on in 30 minutes. Actually, it's going to be another two hours. Do you know why? Is this no. a show that was only uh, broadcast? Do, do you want to really? It's one word. I Why? Creatives. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. It's Who do you true. think fucking runs the shit? It's creative it's directors. Pr- it's producers. They're like. It's the producers. They're like, they, they actually, have a vision no. and like they're very talented, but, but they're like the just, worst managers. It was just like a dress for her. We didn't do anything sure, that yeah. night. We didn't even film. And they're just like, yeah, actually, it's going to be another three hours. I'm so sorry. We're just building something else. I'm so sorry. And I'm like, dude. I'm starving. My ex is a is an she models. She's Italian, funnily enough. Nice. She got a job on a as an extra, like a non speaking extra on an Idris Elba movie. You know, three thousand years of longing. Yeah. She's in it. Nice. Like three times. Nice. So it's this is her life. Mm-hmm. It's like man, it's like two thousand dollars a day. She's getting paid. Yeah. To sit around in full makeup doing yeah. nothing. Yeah, I didn't. Aunt, but but I, she she knows enough now that she'd be like she goes talks to the film crew gets more jobs while she's there. Like can yeah. I can I stand when you do the lighting checks? Yeah. At least she's like doing something because half of them don't let you use your phone. Do you know what I mean? Because you can't like take photos no. of Idris Elba and his like. Photos. Um, we wanted to yeah. watch all of the other people and they wouldn't let us. Yeah. and they're like because yeah, then you might talk about it. it's so. Yeah, dumb. Was it like, like an American like, Got Talent sort of show? Is yes, but Italian and it's not that show. Okay. Okay. Is it only? Uh, I think so. Broadcast Did you win? in Italy or Europe? I mean, we made it through. Awesome. But like. You're they're, not going back. You're no, like, I'm never God, going back. No, I'm not going back. <laughs> they're like, uh, we need you back on Halloween. I'm like, I'm not going to be there. Sorry. Well, it depends what kind of check they write at the end of the day, right? Exactly. Well, yeah. I mean, I just like, you know. Sure. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not going back. They don't <laughs> They don't need me to come back. So I'm good. It was because I was assisting. I was assisting somebody else's okay. act, which is so, that's why I said, yeah. So, so I someone else have, could do it. Exactly. Argue. Okay, yeah, fair, exactly. Fair. And so, but like, yeah, I wasn't allowed to leave anywhere. I had to be escorted everywhere. I wasn't allowed to move without an escort. I was also wasn't allowed to take pictures. I had my phone on me at all times. I did not care. Hmm. Um, but yeah, the food was actually really good, which I'm really glad. Europe generally, except yeah. for like the UK, has great food. Yeah, they That's had really the whole good point. food. Really good got, food. Like Spain, Italy. Yeah. I haven't been. I'd love to, mm-hmm. like for the food. It'd be great yeah. to like... The hotel right where we were, um, they were treating us like actual shit. And so... As retaliation, which is so weird, we just kept tipping them. <laughs> we just kept tipping them, and so uh, the first night that's not American at all. Listen. Fuck you. Here's ten dollars. We had to <laughs> because our food was free, so we like sure. felt inclined to like tip them. That's why they're treating us like shit because they're like ah oh, free food, you know. Sure. And so, um, first day they wouldn't even let us sit down. Second day they finally let us sit down, but they're still kind of treating us like shit. Uh, fourth, third, no, fourth day they're just like hi, hi, how are you? Give us bread. Give us the wine. Give us, uh, do you want to refill? Everything's fine. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And then we're like, all right, cool. We just keep tipping them. And then they finally treat us like human beings. It's great. It's so good. But yeah. And then I had three days of just tourist stuff. Yep. And then the night before, everything was great. Uh, I woke up the next morning. My passport was gone. That's just great. You know, uh, three hours. I was like, I, oh my God, I left it at the hotel. I took a train. I took a plate bus yeah i took a bus da- back to the hotel wasn't in the hotel still can't find my actual passport do not know what happened to it I had to get a new i had to stay an extra night in italy um i didn't have a hotel you also need a passport in order to get a hotel oh yeah so couldn't get a hotel spent the night at the ho- at the airport um they funny thing about the rome airport is that it closes at six 
Everything there closes at six, and that's when they start construction. There's also no plugins anywhere other than the place where they do the construction. <laughs> so all I heard was just all night. All night, I didn't sleep. I slept on top of my suitcase because my one of my biggest fears is getting my shit stolen at an airport. So I slept on top of my suitcase and I used my carry on as a pillow to make sure nothing is like nothing's happening. And weirdly enough, I brought a full queen size blanket with me. So I guess I just that prepared. Helps. I just prepared myself to sleep at an airport, you know. And yeah, I spent twenty four hours. This in an was Italian only airport. recently. This was like last, like like two you weeks just ago. got back, right? Yeah, yeah. just like a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Traumatic. Yeah, it was great. No, I had a great time. I lived my eat, pray, love fantasy. <laughs> It's great. It's Don't great. say that. Why not? <laughs> so you, that's like one of the statements that uh, never mind. Go. No, it's like so you you alluded to you grew up doing performing like circus. You said sixth mm-hmm. generation. Like, does that mean you actually grew up like traveling yeah. in like a carny sort of environment? Uh, not a carny <laughs> sort of environment, but like, yeah. I don't um, know. Are those games rigged? No. That's not. That is not the same. I can go on a full tangent on how they are not the same, but we're not. I'm gonna. Sp- Bear the tangent. You're sure. more like circus delay. Uh, yes and no. I am a tradition. Yeah. I'm a traditional circus artist. So I grew up in traditional circus. I didn't actually. I've never performed in tents. I what is traditional? Sorry, explain so, it to me like I know nothing because okay. I don't. I so don't know. He literally no. He's not kidding. He knows. I've nothing. never <laughs> been to a circus. <laughs> I've been to been circus, circus delay once, but I've never been to a circus like an actual so circus. So there is traditional circus art, and then there is Cirque du Soleil contemporary circus art. So traditional is more like spectacle it's like some of the it's like the greatest showman the jugglers like I, yep. the elephants exactly all exactly i drew up in traditional like circus. what you'd I, see in a movie yes it's yep. what you would see in a movie the in big con- tent yes but i performed in arenas actually mm. so i did arena tours um is that bigger scale is that what you mean it's bigger scale yep. it's, a th- it's a three ring so i would work in a three ring circus and Cirque du Soleil is in a tent one ring more contemporary more arts mm. artsy and mine's more spectacle and Family friendly and yay. So for the time you walked, were you like tumbling and jumping? I was an aerialist. I'm an aerialist. Um, it's basically stuff you do in the air. That's that's basically what it is. You hang in the air. You do cool stuff in the air. You do flexible stuff in the air. You climb. You gotta. You have a lot of strength. I have mediocre strength, which is great. Um, we can arm wrestle later. Oh, no. I'm going to lose. <laughs> I'm going to lose. I got beat by Pietro. You weren't in Lil. You know, Ark? The Italian national champion. Maybe. Bold guy, wizard player. One, Anyway, yeah. he's like a skinny, wiry dude. He challenged me. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, I'll kill this. Dude, he's so strong. Yeah, I'm... That, I'm, that video is on Twitter if anyone wants to find I it. It's embarrassing. It. I need to find it yeah. now. <laughs> it's blackmail material. Yeah, Sorry, go on. my dad's side, my dad's a fifth, fifth generation. I'm fifth or sixth. I kind of always forget. Um... But my dad's side was always in it. Um, my dad's from Mexico. He did flying trapeze and hand balancing handstands and all that stuff with my aunts, my uncles, and stuff like that. My grandmother was a circus performer. My dad, my grandfather was a circus performer, and all of that stuff. My mother is actually um, first generation because one day, story time. Uh, one day, my grandmother, who was a single mother at the time took my mother to a circus performance in Texas and she fell in love with a hand balancer. This is not a lie. I swear to God that this is real. Um, And then she joined the circus and then my mom met my dad and they were best friends and then they got married and then they got a divorce. (laughs) And then, but yeah, I've been in the circus my entire life, my entire life until COVID. So how does that look? Did, did you move around a lot yeah. or did you do circus schooling? Um, like? No, I didn't do any circus schooling. I was taught by my family and taught by myself and taught by other people in the sh- on the show and okay. stuff like that. There are circus schooling, which is basically what a lot of Cirque du Soleil people do. They do circus schooling and that's a whole... Thing. A lot of traditional circus people, I'm not going to be afraid to say that. No one's going to read. No one's going to see this. None of my circus people are going to see this, at least. Uh, they're very elitist. Oh, you don't know what the Listen. what the title of this is going to be, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're very elitist. Mm. They don't really like to mesh themselves with circus school people. And it's a lot of stuff. A lot of traditional circus people are very prob- problematic and racist and a lot of s- sexist. And it's a lot of stuff. And I grew up around that. And I learned... That's also, I am so thankful for my upbringing 
because it really does mesh with my cosplaying because I am so like hard, hard headed and mm. I don't really let things bother me. Mm. I grew up having to be fine. I, I grew up having to take pictures all the goddamn time. I grew up with eyes on me at all time. Mm. I grew up just being the center of attention at all time, which is great, but it's also not good for my ego. Um, what ego? I'm, yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I grew up in that environment and it's so different and it was definitely, it was definitely weird like after the pandemic and I haven't gone back. I do, I still perform, but now I perform in the more local scene, contemporary scene, stuff like that. I do have an amazing, an amazing group of people who have helped me. Like, like I said, the traditional circus people are not the greatest people in the entire world. So I grew up very broken <laughs> so I've gone through about a year and a half to two years of just being with this group this company that's just so inviting and loving and doesn't yell at me if I ruin if I mess up my routine or mm. doesn't yell at me if I'm not strong enough to do a certain trick yet or stuff like that and I'm very grateful for for my company and my studio in my small little Missouri town but so you're not afraid of heights I am never mm. I'm not afraid of heights sometimes I am afraid of ladders. <laughs> I'm afraid of ladders, but I'm I'm getting over that. I'm getting over that. The ladders are weird, though. Ladders suck. I get that. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't mind if it, if I'm high, but like mm -hmm. climbing a ladder somewhere high. Yeah. It doesn't feel the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? It strikes me as a high risk profession. It like, is... have you had like injuries or yes. seen like um, it's pretty dangerous? Yes. A month ago, I pulled my hamstring, but that's not even the worst of it. Uh, I used to do this thing called hair hang, uh, hair suspension, where basically, yes. Uh, I think you, I've seen yeah, a video hair, of you doing that. Yeah, hair yeah. suspension. One time I was practicing and my my knot just completely, completely now what is it? What is hair suspension? Oh, Sorry. Yeah. Suspended by your yeah, hair. Yeah, you're suspended by your hair. I did like that. it's what, wrapped around or whatever? Yeah, so basically you wrap it around rope and then you tie it into the rope and then you wrap it around a ring. And then you hook the ring on and it pulls you, pulls you up. What does it feel like on your head? Like your head's going to get pulled off? Um. Yeah, so actually... Well, some girls fact, like that shit, man. <laughs> I do like that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can just imagine your face... Just yeah, <laughs> you got a facelift. You got a facelift. <laughs> but anyway... When it's all the hair at once. With, so yeah. all of the hair at once actually holds up to... I cannot remember. I think it's, it's like 10,000 yeah. pounds. It's it's an oh, insane damn. amount. It's like cobwebs. Like when there's enough of them, they're very strong. They make Kevlar. Exactly. And when it's it's not... Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, cool. I'm learning. Um, I'm learning. But I was... So when you want to grab a... You have to put your whole palm base of the head yeah, and so grab all of it. Yeah, you have to grab all of it. Then it feels Twist good. It doesn't it around hurt. And then <laughs> pull up. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show you later. That's fine. <laughs> but yeah. I did um, cut my hair for a reason. Yeah. No, God, of course no. you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was training one day and it just completely came loose and I fell, I think like 10 feet. Shit. Yeah. But I was, I was going around. I wasn't just straight. Yeah. You so can't was, control the yeah. fall. Yeah. No, but like I was, I was going around is what I mean. Like, so when I fell, I got, chucked to the side and thank god i got checked to the side because i learned how i learned how to fall you learn how to fall sure. you learn to always fall like on your side never on your feet and so i fell to my side and i'm like holy shit and i get up and my dad's like don't get up don't get up i'm like okay cool and then i just dropped i flopped <laughs> on the floor and i'm like i don't know why i'm flopping back on the floor okay so your dad still performs my dad does not perform actually he okay. is actually a manager of a circus now oh wow. yeah well a general manager but i yeah. imagine he can still handstand he could still <laughs> can he no no <laughs> no 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 and the amount of like 60 plus year old guys yeah. i've met that Oh yeah, a acrobatic. Yeah, and then at sixty five, they'll like just they can just yeah, you can still do it. It's muscle it's memory. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's muscle memory. But my your dad, body definitely remembers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure my dad can. That's what I mean. Like, like it's probably I'm there. I'm sure yeah. he can. He's just but like it's higher risk. Like, like fifty see, or sixty fall, pounds heavier that fall than he ever after was. forty is yeah. a different fall. Exactly. Like after I grew 30, up, it's a different fall. Like this was, this was a practice before my show. I still performed that same night. Yeah, you couldn't do that if you're like 40. If, if yeah. No, if it was like right now, I probably couldn't do that. Go. I'm going to be real honest with you. I pulled my hamstring and I haven't been able to like train in about mm, a month. Shit. Like properly. I've been doing my offside. So like I'm still performing, just not as good. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like can you, could you ever do a cartwheel, John? I'll teach you how to do a cartwheel. I never could do it. It's As a kid, Look, I could never work it out. I, I do. I'm I pretty do, unco, but I, I, I could do never do it. I do jiu-jitsu. Like, I'm athletic enough yeah. to do that. My brothers do jiu-jitsu. I can't do 
I can't fuck them up. I, no, I, are you sure? <laughs> yes. One of them is six foot tall and doesn't the other matter. one is, okay, cool. Doesn't matter. I'll show you pictures afterwards. I'll show you videos of me <laughs> killing people his height, 200 kilos, no problem. Look, uh, you have to, it's just, you so have to believe you in yourself to yeah, even you compete. If they win, I'll yeah. I'll say, dude, fucking great. And I'll ask them questions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can uh, you do cartwheels? No, this is the funny thing. So in jujitsu, we mm-hmm. got to do backflips. Mm-hmm. We got to do cartwheels. Oh. Like you need to be able to. You have to be. Because you got to. Mani- I got to manipulate your body. So yeah. if you're Sounds like, cool. Yeah. If, if you're in a on top position, I need to be able to mm-hmm. roll over and get on top. Yeah. I can't roll to my left side. I can roll to my right. It's very strange. I definitely can't cartwheel. I'm too. I'm too stocky and heavy, and I've never been acrobatic. Like so I'll just fall over. I have two brothers. Mm. One of them, he's older. Um. He never did any circus, and I have a younger brother. He did circus with me. Mm. Uh, we were both aerialists. He's the one always in photos with you. Always yes. in photos with me. Yes. Um, all of those photos. He's fourteen. <laughs> he's he's, he's huge. fucking yeah, huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's fourteen now. No, no, oh, no he's no, in the pictures. He's okay. like fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, like stuff like that. Um, but yeah. So my older brother did like body, like bodybuilding and weightlifting and weight training and all of that stuff. And my other brother, he had more stamina. Um. And they both got into jujitsu at the same time. And then they both got into boxing at the same time. And their training schedules and their training regimens are so different from each other because they have to work on different uh, yep. things. Different. One of them has to work on cardio more. Yep. The other one has to work on cardio even more because he got fat over the pandemic, you know, and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So. What belts are they? I do not know. Don't ask me that question. <laughs> how long would it take you to teach John how to do a cartwheel? Probably like 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Why not? No, you like, know I- how to. Do you not? No, 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 no. I fall over. Like, I, I'm very bad at it. Yeah. I'll teach you. It's not that. I'm 35, right? Like, if I was 18, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. But I've literally, when I was 18, mm-hmm. I, my friend was like a freak. He could like do all Bend these tricks and stuff, on trampoline. Yeah. And I, so I'm Lebanese, right? I grew yeah. up in the Middle East. Yeah. I don't fucking have trampolines. Like, I was shooting <laughs> guns at 10. Damn, we got, we're, we're but Mexican. I, I we nev- always have a trampoline. I never learned how to swim. Never like acrobatic shit. You know what I yeah. mean? Never. Um, it was like just playing, climbing trees and shit. Like it was, it, you know, it's it's a different yeah. culture. Yeah. Like Australia, every kid can swim. Mm-hmm. In Lebanon, no one can swim. Mm. That's just how it is. Like we don't. The the ocean's disgusting. There's no like rivers to swim in. We learn how to ski early, but swimming is not a thing. The reason that was relevant is I moved here at fourteen. Mm-hmm. Like already a lot of that shit. Like if you're gonna that equilibrium to mm-hmm. do flips and stuff, you got to learn much younger than I did. So at eighteen. My friend showed me trips on a trampoline. I jump, I land on my neck, sprain it pretty Ugh. bad. Also at 18, I was engaged at 17. Mm-hmm. I'm um, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> divorced. At tw- She's a lesbian now. It's fine. Congratulations. Um, yeah, I know. I, d- I, got, I got rid of a bad one. That's, that's how I look a at it. A bad one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I learned how to swim to surprise her because she lived in Vanuatu. She's like French English, but she uh-huh. lived in Vanuatu. Uh-huh. So I learned how to swim to surprise her on her 18th birthday. Took a took a kayak out and, and I just jumped in. Mm-hmm. But learning how to yeah, and she thought I was gonna die because she knew I couldn't swim, but I oh. could. At the it was crazy. It's, I'm very romantic. She's like, like surprise, that. And then yeah, she yeah, just yeah surprise. Screaming. Well, I got stung by a jellyfish, and then that was yeah, true story. But <laughs> learning how it. to swim, I, I had it. to go to like a kids swimming class thing, uh-huh. right? <laughs> and like one on one, but it's like they're used to kids. Mm-hmm. They're not used to like. Were you bold then? Fuck no. Okay. One time. I'm still not bold, Paul. Okay. I, my hairline <laughs> is fine. I just, it's a choice. You just, it's a choice to be bold? I'm thinning. So I want to see what I looked like choice bold. It looks good. Every, no, it's no. Nice. Every man in our family's bold. Yeah. I have my hairline. They don't. Like nice. they're actually like. Yeah. yeah. I have um, my dad's hairline. Don't look at it too close. Don't look at um, it. <laughs> anyway. Sorry. She, <laughs> she holds the base of my back and says lay uh-huh. flat to teach me how to yeah, float, to right? Yeah, to float. Yeah. And and uh, and I'm obviously because I'm s- not scared of water, but when you don't swim, you're like tense. Yeah. She's like, relax. I'm not gonna let go. I relax. She let go, and I, my legs are fucking huge in proportion to my body, and I kicked, and I was in bed for six weeks with a very bad back injury. It's never quite healed. Like, it healed, and then mm-hmm. I got injured in jujitsu, and it's yeah. been three years on painkillers. That's so bad. So. Cartwheels not do you understand? Like I'm yeah. too tense. Yeah. And it's because of I understand. Yeah. Like So could I learn it? Yes, but it's like a forceful learning. No, it's not I'm not loose enough exactly. to do shit like that. Exactly. But it helps me in jujitsu because my base, like yeah. if you try and trip me over, yeah. I don't I'm too way too fucking tense and short to mm-hmm. be like pushed over. Yeah. If that makes it. My mm-hmm. center of gravity is very low. I think that's 
so I don't do any jujitsu. Sure. But whenever I live with my brothers. You wrestle them. Exactly. Yeah. And so they You'll, teach me. You would be me, good at it. They teach me jujitsu. Yeah. And so, well, my other brother that I used to train with, the one that I perform with, he just moved to Texas, mm. which is kind of sad because I never get to see him anymore. Um, but my other brother, I still see him. But whenever we would train, um, I have like super freaky like joints. Like they just fucking go like that yeah. and shit. And so whenever they would get me in like a lock, I just go like, all right. Shrug it off. <laughs> yeah. Just break my fucking shoulders. Do you know who the best people at jujitsu are? Like where they come in blind off the street mm. and are suddenly like, actually keeping up with blue belts and, and higher belts, dancers. Yeah. Anyone that can break dance, the reason is dancers can see something. And I believe this mm -hmm. is why I'm like referring to you. A dancer sees a move or a body movement and can replicate it, read it through their eyes into their muscles. Mm -hmm. Most of us don't practice that skill. Mm, so if I'm going to learn a move, I have to physically do the move mm -hmm. and I'm clunky and awkward and I slowly get smooth. Yeah. A break dancer comes in, goes, oh, so I do this. I... Do that, okay, and then exactly. they just do it. Yeah, and and they only need to watch it once, Paul. Mm -hmm. Those guys are freaks. But if you have any Visual performance, learner. very, he's like, you would be good because you perform. Mm -hmm. If you've ever seen a move and gone, I know what it feels like to do that move. And yeah, jujitsu is quite easy because you go, okay, in this position, do this. You just mm -hmm. tell your muscles to move that way. Yeah, most people don't have that skill. Like most people in the world can't do that. Yeah, I've come to learn that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a. It's a it's yeah. a creative thing where you can see something and move your body that way. Yeah. And it's usually dancing. Dancing's the big it's, one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's definitely a shock. I'm learning so much about regular people. <laughs> like I I just learned so many different things about regular people. I'm like, oh, you guys never like took months off? <laughs> you guys, that's just not a thing? No. It's like you never took like the summer off? No. I'm like, oh. Interesting. Y'all just work all the time? And you're like, yeah. Like, Is it oh, a seasonal cool. thing in the yeah, circus? Yeah, 10 months out of the year. 10 months out of the year you work and then you have two months off. Yeah. Well, it's pretty intense too. Oh, it's so intense. Yeah. You don't, you barely like have it's any like days a, off. It's like an artist on you tour. You live with your coworkers. What about um, schooling? Did you homeschool? I was homeschooled. Okay. I was homeschooled. Um, other people, they will put their- explains a lot actually. Hey. Sorry. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> I'm just going to leave it out there. It's no. in, in Australia, no one homeschools. No one's homeschooled in Australia. Yeah, never, a except, lot except of Except my people. lesbian ex. Nice. Yeah, another. Listen, hey, <laughs> a lot of people in America are homeschooled. Yeah, it's yeah. common. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, actually, in countries like Australia, it's actually not legal. You have to go through some hoops to show why. Yeah. Like, you can't just homeschool because. Really? Yeah, you're not allowed to. Nice. Well, it's it's bad. that Because, by the way, you might have had a good experience, mm -hmm. but homeschooling lends itself to bad experiences. Yeah. Anti so like kids with no social skills. Yeah. Like there's a lot of well, so problems. here's the thing is like I was homeschooled, but there's also other kids. That's there. what I mean. Like homeschooling yeah. carte blanche is not always good. Exactly. Yeah. So like, there's like a lot of yeah. It was like a like a village sort of you grew up in. Almost. Like yeah. A except, community yeah. sort of. You know, it, it was a weird community. It's all I'm gonna say. A oh, lot of yeah. There's a lot I of bet. cheating involved. There's a lot of we're just involved in everyone else's personal drama. It's so fun. It's a village. Yeah, it's like so that's fun. a village for you, right? Yeah, yeah. small village. Yeah. yeah, the drama, the drama, the gossip, the gossip, the lack of privacy. Yes. Yeah, it's my childhood. That's yeah. my, like Lebanese families don't lock their doors. It's I like a don't weird lock thing my when door. When I moved here, I'm like, wait, you lock your door? Like, but that's your grandma's house. Wait, you have to call your grandma to go over. What the fuck's wrong? What with about you? Uh, what <laughs> What about ownership? Is that like because I know because my wife's Polynesian, mm. right? Same. I've been to Samoa a few times with her, mm -hmm. and it's like. They don't, there's no, con there's not really a concept of, um, you own this. Mm -hmm. Like when you bring something back to the village or home, it's everyone's like, there's like, Lebanese it, so you don't own not. it. No, nah, we don't like each other that much. No, okay. that, that's not a thing with us that's either. That's not a thing no. with Lebanese? Like, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't grab someone's car. Like, no. like without you asking, you know, ask yeah. and then grab yeah. their car for but, like but three there's hours. there's this whole guilt and assumption that they will say yes. hundred percent. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. there's... Family breakups over little shit uh, like that. Like he said, I couldn't I, borrow I, the car, and that's yeah. like the end of. Like now I'm gonna stop uh, yeah, talking yeah. to you for three weeks. I, 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 How do you like that? I, you know, I'm just obviously sure. I'm not a someone, so I'm not a bloody uh, an authority on it. But just an example, like because it happened to me many times over there. Like I would say to someone, like one of my wife's cousins or something, I'd be like, "Oh, that's a nice, you know, shirt or whatever hat." Here, that I'm like, I don't, I don't want it. <laughs> But it, it's their culture. It's like yeah. that's, Leb that's that's a like Lebanese your, thing too. Your, uh, if you like it, then I want you to have it because you like yeah. it. And I'm yeah. like, hang on a sec. I, d I don't want it. You learn to not compliment. Yes, it, you yeah. you very quickly. Go, Wait, I'm not trying to be manipulative here. Yeah, yeah, very quickly. That happened to me once. And I was like, 
Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. But then it happens in reverse. When I ever go there, whatever I take, I know I'm not coming home with it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But that's fine. But that's why I understand it, that. I, I found that to be quite manipulative. It, in Vanuatu, where my ex was from, mm. when I'd visit, I went maybe six, seven times. Like you take like six hundred dollar hiking boots, the water. You know what I mean? Because like we would go, they were missionaries, like Christian missionaries. So we would go and then pack a bag and hike for seven days till there's like naked people. Do you know what I mean? Like because mm-hmm. they wanted to reach like it was crazy pygmies and and wow. You you take a photo on the camera and you couldn't show them the viewfinder. They'd think you stole their soul. Like a fucking witch doctor come out with a spear. Like no joke. It was Jesus. It was amazing. Okay, <laughs> but that, crazy. That is amazing. We need um, to dedicate a whole funder episode to those stories. Ah, uh, look. It's Have you guys ever thought about doing vlogs? No. What type? What in what context? Vlogs. By the way, we are not just com- vlogs. Like of what? Just he like does adventures. Them. Of us two. Adventure vlogs. No. Nah. Of us two doing an adventure vlog. Just like together. adventure vlogs. Like what if you guys go on like a safari tour and then do an adventure vlog? I, th- I think, oh look, God. if if Fab ends up... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what the fuck? There's a, there's a point where Fab was big enough that the channels were big enough that we had an editor or a, or a guy that would film with us. Mm-hmm. Like Alex from Fabled Academy, if I could give him a job, like go, hey, you're coming to Worlds with us for two weeks. We're going to do a tour, do events. You film and edit, I'm mm-hmm. all in. But there's no fucking way either of us have time. Like honestly... We already off camera complain all the time that we're not playing enough because we're yeah. too busy. Like well, we'll be like, shit, I haven't I think uploaded that's the this same week. With me, is I'm yeah. so busy, not just with like cosplay. I'm yeah. so busy traveling. I'm so busy performing. I'm so busy having a regular job on top of everything yeah. that I can't just go and play. And the issue with us is our. our I'm speaking for myself, but correct me if I'm wrong. We love Fab and the I community, so we want to play. Exactly. The content ends up being, wait, this is a very good tool to help the community and grow mm-hmm. it and we get promos and, right? Mm-hmm. It, genuinely speaking, I hate the fact that people like, okay, I don't feel like I'm somebody and if I thought there was any fame attached to this, I wouldn't have done it. Like, I was I literally just making shit was and opening was literally boxes. just talking about this yeah. with Kiki. But we, we just want to play with our friends exactly. as the primary thing and the co- like – we don't want to be content creators. Yeah. Like if you remember like Louis from kitchen table, he mm-hmm. wanted to be a YouTuber seven videos a week. You know what? Like that's yeah, what yeah. he wanted to do. He mm-hmm. wanted that. He wanted thousand patrons and I don't yeah. want he wants any to be a content that. creator. And I don't think you speci- like. I you still want don't think a I'm hobby. a content creator. I'm not and, a content and both creator. of us sort of started. It I'm was just confused why they gave me a spoiler at this point. Uh, I'm why? I, like, why? Why not? <laughs> yeah, sure. But There's like plenty why? of others. Listen, <laughs> it's the same reason Melody got one. Yeah. It's Where's my prism spoilers? <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> what they're looking for okay, there's like, like content members. creators like Tolerant Community College should get one because yeah, he's right? a content creator. But, but wide reach. But then there's also like who are voices in the community? The community like everyone's happy when Melody got one. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like the community wants her to get one. Yeah. You're the same. Like you're a voice in the community. Whether That's you play a lot or not. You're like a figure, like you are there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if the game had three million players instead of thirty thousand players, mm-hmm. you would be quite a large figure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe again, for me, that would turn me off. Like if if this was magic numbers, I would have deleted my channel. Yeah. I don't want to. F- I don't like. By the way, I'm not trying to say don't come up to me, ask for a photo or whatever. I don't care Please about that. Please come up to me and but punch I, me in the I face. I don't <laughs> want to be like I see Just James at balls. events Stop. where he can't fucking walk. <laughs> Like he can't walk without getting accosted. Who? James what? White. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't want fuck that. I don't. Yeah, no. Like if you come up to me and you know who I am, that's super cool. But like. No, no, but I, I don't. I never want it. I can't go to an event. Like I, I don't want to be the move. professor where I owe it to people that like you want to be polite. Yeah. But well, then you, can't, also you can't Luke just doesn't play. like people. Yeah. That's I what he's people. getting at. But it's also something is like, <laughs> that's something I had to get used to with yeah. being on the circus. I always had to take pictures. Mm. I was going to say something about to that there. too. I like, had... it sounds like what you were saying is a point I think people are missing these days. You know, the whole soap with kids thing is like, you should let kids get dirty. Mm-hmm. Like, if, you, if you're way too germophobic with a child, you might set them up for failure. They mm-hmm. can develop like... Allergies, you know what I mean? Yeah. But this social shit these days is the same. Like, if you try and shut off every voice and every negative and every triggering it's thing, mentally you draining be- to go outside if yeah. you do that. But when you say, like, I understand what you're saying. Like, mm-hmm. if you grow up with stuff you clearly know now as an adult, it exactly. should not happen. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, bullshit, privacy invasions, private space, personal space. Yeah. 
like all that's bullshit. But if you dealt with it, mm-hmm. you you can just cope with life. Yeah. Life's not nice. Like people don't owe you that they have to be nice to you. Yeah. The minute you get money involved, sex involved, like the shit can get dirty. People yeah. get toxic as fuck. No. You have to have some experience and you have to be able to let it roll off your back. Like you can't yeah. be like, no, you can't do that. It's like, yeah. let racists be racist. Like you, you, you can say something, but if you make it, if you always try and shut it out, mm-hmm. Always, Mm -hmm. always. Okay, if it all goes away and then you actually experience it and you have no coping mechanism, you can't laugh it off. You can't go, you're an idiot. Like if it's immediately like a visceral reaction to everything you hear you don't like, man, that's a dangerous... You don't don't want to be that person. You're weak. I turned into that person for a while. It's hard to be that person. I turned into that person for a while. And honestly, I just got so tired of it. I'm just like, why does it bother me so much? And I'm still at at some points. I'm like, why does this bother me so much? But then it let it. I let it bother me. But yeah. then, like, who cares? It's not that you shouldn't like. Uh, it's he, not that you shouldn't I'll, let it bother I'll you. Sure, the, it'll bother you. But like, mm. yeah, they, we're getting like we won't get this serious the whole pod. But what what I think is, let, let's talk about something like global warming, right? Like yeah. environmental shit. Yeah, it's important, but you can't fix it. Yeah, you will never fix sexism or racism. You will never fix it yeah. yourself you should 100% care about it in your immediate circle. Exactly. Do not fucking let your brother talk shit about women. That's mm-hmm. like immediately go, exactly. come here. It's like, come <laughs> this here. This is how it makes me Shut feel. The fuck up. No, no, but also you should be very open. Like, mm-hmm. no, don't do that. And then you tell your story. You go, this has happened to me. Don't, yeah. don't. Like, do, do you understand what I mean? Oh, I completely but like, understand. trying to shut down a voice on the internet that you don't, is not in your immediate circle, mm-hmm. doesn't, like, you're not, it's not going to affect anything. Yeah. It's also anonymous. They can say whatever the fuck they want. Ignore it. Like, given it any voice. Anyway, yeah. you get what I mean. Yeah, you should yeah. 100% care where it's relevant. Yes. If, if I see Paul doing something I disagree with, like, oh, I, oh, no, fuck? no, but I owe it to him as a friend to have that conversation. Exactly. I, I had an argument with, with Ethan, like a good one. Like, he's talking about a format of fab and I disagree of doing I will have that conversation mm-hmm. with him to his face. And disagree because I love him. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But if some idiot on the internet, like when Louis did it, is like, come on, I, I, I'm not gonna do do your thing. I fucking disagree. But yeah, I'm not gonna start. A, I'm I, not gonna start an argument Louis. on the my, internet. My hateful comment does not I'm, affect Louis. Exactly. Like, what am I? What, what am I what the typing fuck am I gonna for? Do? Yeah. But if, if you respect me enough to give to me FaceTime, oh, like, hey, I'll tell you if I disagree with something. Yeah. And hopefully we both benefit rather than it being like. I postured morally mm-hmm. and everyone knows I'm a good guy. Mm-hmm. I hate that shit. Yeah. That's part of the reason why I never want to be in content, social media. Like I only have social media because of fab. Yeah. My Facebook's for like my Lebanese family. So I can yeah. see when they have kids and shit. My Facebook is for my circus people. My Instagram <laughs> is for my circus people. My Twitter is for me and it's my little diary and I will post whatever the fuck I want. I don't even yeah. care. I think I got in trouble for the last thing I posted, but I don't even care. The, I don't even know what you posted. I, it was like about the assassin, oh. and it's about it. I, Spill the beans. It was what the assassin, it? and all, it was the line. chair. So I was like basically like sit on my face. Yes, yeah, and yeah. And then yeah. people got kind of mad about it. Look, can really? I, by the way, this yeah, isn't, but like privately, they don't, mm. they didn't, they don't know that I see the discords. <laughs> <laughs> the, here, here's the thing, though, and, and like, I'm just gonna say this because it's funny, not because like I'm super hard cut by it. I can't say that shit. Like, if I did a list of all the females, I'm going to fucking fab. Like, the, <laughs> no, no, the heroes. Like, do you know what I mean? But oh when, like, God. how many beers do I need with dash zero? Do you know what I mean? Like, Listen, I couldn't get away with it. Top tier I would thread. get fucking cancelled. Len made that thread and it is top tier okay. and I love so everything. If I ever did it, I if would. If you ever did it, yeah. Hey, listen, that's a little sus. By the way, I don't even care that's if I get cancelled. <laughs> Very sus, also, John. Th- no, no, the problem is I would be doing a tongue in cheek humor because I, I, I'm not a, like, yeah. a, I, I'm not a anime waifu like i don't yeah. i don't there's zero i'm not an anime waifu no, but i, I don't either. find anything digital like S- actually no, sexually I can see something's objectively pretty exactly. but like I, I, they don't Same with tie me. in my it's brain. like i don't want to fuck a cartoon character no but like but I want hey to do that it, cartoon no, character no, no, is kind of hot i, I kind of want to do a parody of like if i just copied your shit <laughs> and put my spin on it i'd be canceled tomorrow <laughs> i i'm telling you now no joke i know this for a fact Oh shit! How can much I tweet can I from say? your account? You know what? I'm gonna fucking say it. I love you, James, but I'm gonna say it. Oh damn! So I'm in Jersey, it's right? Good. My my ex, who broke my heart, Grace. Uh-huh. She was with me in Jersey. Uh huh. Asian girl. She was floating around. I, did with I me ever a see bit. you in Jersey? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I saw you. In, look, Listen, I saw you. Yes. I, I do not we said hello. Hundred percent. It was more you and Elaine. Things. I think I said hey. I don't know. I'm so sorry to you. That's really rude. I'm so sorry to you. I'm not that forgettable. Sorry to that man. It's fine. 
So, hey, so the, she wait, did a video with videos. me. I, like Rudy, Alpha Investments mm-hmm. does a lot of like stepsister stuck in the washing machine videos. Yeah. We got, I got contacted going, we mm-hmm. want to make this like world tour thing before pro tour. Can you make something funny for us? I go, do you want me to get Grace like stuck in the stuck in the washing machine? Oh, no. Have you seen this? No, I haven't seen this. What? I know about it. I anyway. just haven't seen it. So like she was wearing leggings. Like it wasn't it wasn't nothing revealing. Yeah. But also she was super game. Like she's that yeah. type of person. She was like, I'm game oh, with that that'd too. be hilarious. Um, one time at I don't remember what it was. I think it may have been a pro quest. Could have been a pro quest. I don't know. I top eight is something and I needed to take a picture. Mm. Um, and I was the only girl there and they're like, Hey, let's recreate the picture of like, you know, the one girl and then all of the guys. And I said, ew, okay. <laughs> and then I sat down and then they're like, no, we can't do that. I'm like, oh, so here's okay. the thing. I, I made the video, by the way, she made me do three takes to get it. Put. Like yeah. she was really into it. Yeah. Like literally if it wasn't for her, like if she'd even gone, I can't be bothered would have done something else. But she's like, that's fucking hilarious. Like all all the nerdy guys, like this would be funny. It'd be fucking hilarious. She was reading the comments, which I, like she, anyway, we post the video, send it to Saint. He puts it all in. That's the intro basically is like, Mm -hmm. like she's playing with my flesh and blood cards. And I'm like, T- telling my stepsister off for stealing my cards. Like, that was oh the joke. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So the video goes up on Saint's channel. Nothing happens. Everyone thought it was fucking hilarious. Also, you know, people that don't like that stuff don't follow Saint with his pink snatch jokes every second word. So they sort of like, it sort of was in a bubble. Someone asked me to sign snatches at Worlds. <laughs> so, but then Rudy posts it on his video, like a month after Pro Tour Jersey. Uh-huh. Rudy does a video and that's the intro. Uh-huh. I was with, where was I? No, this was during Jersey. So he posted it like, yeah. he did an intro because Rudy was at Jersey. I'm with Saint in his office. I don't know. I'm going to get people in trouble, whatever. Just do it. Saint gets a phone call. Oh no. From LSS. <gasps> get the video taken down. And, and by the way, I'm sitting there with Grace in Saint's office. No, no, no. Rudy got a phone call, called Saint. I'm there while he's on the phone. I literally am like, Grace, you fucked up. Made her do an <laughs> apology video. No joke. I made her do an apology. You made her do a, like a sit down. I'm like, she's like, I'm so, I'm so sorry, video. Rudy, that I got you in trouble. I'm really sorry. It was my idea. That's it had hilarious. nothing. In- <laughs> but this was like an actual threat. Yeah. Like they, they were told like, pull it down. And this I is Rudy. Like he's not like, if you think of who that yeah. person, he don't get, he's got more money than most people will ever see. He took the video down. Yeah. Like I'm telling I you, I could not get it. Like there was, there's a, there's a definitely a line where I couldn't cross. I if don't I wanted think to stay in anything role. wrong with like sexual ish content. Like when it's funny sure. or like when the person is comfortable with it, I don't think that there's anything wrong. I with thought, su- I thought, suggestive content. I thought the whole point was consent. Yeah. Because this was my girlfriend at the time wanting to do it. Exactly. Like actually like, Okay, if do I need to get a fucking letter signed? That. But like, but that, but exactly. that's the point. It wasn't somebody like somebody asked me to make that, and I said yes. I'd be like, it, I said yes. I'm like, yes, you can do they that. Use the word I don't upskirt. Care. That was the word that was used. Uh-huh. Wait a sec, upskirts. Like, I didn't get your consent. Upskirt. Mm-hmm. Like, this yeah. isn't like, whatever. That it's bullshit. I they deleted it. Yeah. I just know, like, in our community, that's not something I would get to do. Yeah. I don't think anything. There's anything wrong with suggestive content. Um, if it gets to like companies, I'll be like, "This is fucking ridiculous! Like, why are you telling me to take something down?" Well, where Where do you draw the line with cosplay? I do not draw the line with not cosplay. for yourself mm-hmm. or just with, when it comes to people cosplaying or mm. sexual. I think you can do whatever, whatever you. I am literally. This is going to come out after Worlds. I am doing a sexy chain cosplay. Oh, I yeah. do not care. I do not. I don't think care. you should. I I don't. But it, like literally, because we're having this discussion. So there was some drama with like a play mat or a deck mm-hmm. box used somewhere. No, no. So I, I draw the line at mon- minors. So is that the line? The line for me is minor. Like Look, minors. That should be everyone's that line. Is just, every, that should so, be everyone's so line. So you're saying like, and, and not just us, like where do we think the line should be? Because mm-hmm. I also like, it's a 16 plus game. Yeah. Like there's actual nipples in fab art. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not, by the way, they don't go This over. isn't a kid's game. This isn't Pokemon. Correct. But I, I've never seen like what someone like, the, the Twitter thing that happened. I don't, with it. I, I don't know if yeah. it was adult or not. I just feel like if someone comes up with a, I a titty playmat, it's not a minor. I personally did think that playmat yeah. that we're talking about, I did think it was over the line, but that's because sure. I think Dragon Maid sucks and is over the line. So. But, uh, but are you talking it was 
hard to differentiate if that that's a minor or not. Is that what? Oh, you're I'm saying? pretty sure that no that that character is a minor that's like okay, ten thousand years no, old. No, no, then that, no, no. I've, we've had this discussion. That's bullshit. Like, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't draw an underage girl and say, "Well, she's a fucking vampire, so it's okay." Like that doesn't make sense. Yeah, we had this discussion about like like a lot of these card yeah. games that, but like yeah. if F- flesh and blood is printing out a card with a really really attractive woman am i not, not allowed to say oh wow yeah. that woman no, no, is I'd, hot like yeah fuck off uh, good. you know it's it's also like and if if i get in a fight with one or two people about i said something about fi i said fi is hot and then someone's like well if a man were to say this oh, then God. blah blah i'm like fuck up i don't care i think i think i actually commented on that maybe and yes, i said i always say shit like that and like, i guess i'm not cancelled like i constantly just like cancel me i don't I, care I if this my is my, my last mouth. tweet in the world at least i said my truth that fi is hot <laughs> said my truth amen care. so are you playing this weekend in yes, any so event playing in the calling and i'm playing inside events well hopefully Ooh. round one you and me what are you what? playing in the calling dash listen okay. if i'm doing a, if i'm win. doing something i Listen, <laughs> fuck off, first of all. <laughs> Second of all, I think everything's an easy one because I haven't played in a month and a half. And I just want to have fun. Honestly, awesome. I'm here for Me fun. Too. I'm, I'm here, here for calling for the, and battle I'm here for the even. social aspect, honestly. I, Sick. Like I said, I don't have like a great community in my... Like there is a community, but I just don't... I don't feel good in it, I guess. I get Your like, local or In, in my local community. Okay. I There's really nice people. There are like a few nice people, but... I am not inclined to go every week. Where is this? Uh, Missouri. Do you want me to go and fix it? Yes, please. All right. You want to go fix Missouri? Where we'll is Missouri? That's the Missouri vlog. is the middle of, <laughs> yeah. is That's the middle the of America. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of yes, place, actually. Please, the vlog. please. We're on. <laughs> Funder goes to Missouri. <laughs> we get budgie smugglers, Aussie flags. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Like, where are they? Yeah, I, I, yeah. I just want to see all of the people I like really but, like. By the way, that is the penultimate problem to solve. Like we all want the game to grow. Yeah. Like Ethan's trying to solve some portion of that with like an easy access format where you don't yeah. need to spend a thousand dollars to mm-hmm. play competitively, you know, yeah. cause you've got some regions that are super hyper. Like yeah. top 10 out of a hundred are all in the same fucking state. Yeah. And the, you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you're a new and, but that's another problem. Like you can't control people. Like even if our community is better than the magic one, which I was never a part of, mm-hmm. there's still toxic people. There's still, there's still, Rule shocking I and this, you know what I mean? like a lot of people in the community are so positive about it. And everyone has positive experience. Yeah. I can count more negative experiences than positive. I can count yeah. positive experiences with one hand. Um, like the first, the first calling I ever went to, I had a horrible experience. Mm. I literally almost quit the game off of that because I had horrible experiences. Like people were saying weird, mean things about me, like behind my back. People were saying things about my body. I dress the way that I dress. Yeah. I'm not going to cover myself up because, oh, I'm in this one person. I'm in this one place. You know, I'm, I wasn't even in a suggestive thing. I was wearing a crop top. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm wearing a crop top. Is that because Americans are prudish? Uh, yeah, I was in Texas, so I guess, but like still, what is Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Do you think there's a chance it's because people are intimidated more than it is an actual issue with you? That's actually a good question. A lot- Intimidated or jealous? My boyfriend does say that. He's like, it's because of like who you are. You're confident. You don't care. You will show up in six inch platform shoes because you don't give a fuck and that's what you love to wear. What I'm trying to tell you, if it like- gets through great i think it's more likely i i, I i'm not a pretty girl uh-huh. but i have a no 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 <laughs> yeah I'm not a pretty girl no, but let me explain like there, there's is that a, the title a, of the episode there's a thing Funder, with number blah blah yeah. blah i am not a pretty girl I'll, I'll we can call it that <laughs> what i'm trying to say is at, in in your life in general there yeah. are things you'll deal with being a girl full stop and yeah. then there'll be things you'll deal with being a girl wearing a crop top yeah. On your own versus yeah. not. Like there's there's all this shit that's not fair, but it happens, right? It happens. Yeah. And I think in the gaming world, as yeah. far as like it happens online, but in person it's worse. Mm-hmm. This is very broad stroke. Yeah. There's not many card games attract people that are not necessarily the most socially experienced in the world. It's like yeah. a safe space for a it's lot of people. It's like I can go play with the boys. People don't wash their hands, long yeah. fingernails on guys. Like it's just like oh not always like the most yeah. Like people aren't there so, to get laid. People aren't there to impress. Like the, it's not a social aspect like a mm-hmm. bar or a club is where there's many of you in the room. 
yeah. or any and anyone at least you you're you're like yeah. what I'm trying to say is this someone being intimidated and treating you like an outsider yeah. because they don't even fucking know how to invite you to shit, too shy to invite you to shit, or people not wanting you to get all the attention. Yeah. Is more of a compliment than a negative. It's hard to see it that way. Yeah. It's like if you're it that person. It is hard to see it that way. Yeah. Like one time, um, I'm not going to say where. I'm just going to say that these people were putting like, they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to do like a draft together. We can get this person and this person and this person. I was in the middle of this. Comp- they did not include yeah. me at all. At all. And I was just like, all right, I'm going to go fucking kill myself. Um, I'm going to just leave. And then I never like went back after that. Yeah. And so it sucks. Um, like I said, there's a lot of toxic positivity and I just want to, I want to make it known that there is a lot of negativity that nobody's really talking about. And I want to make it a better place. Like this is actually my first, um, like big event where I'm coming in alone and I am absolutely terrified. I don't want people to get, be mean to me. I don't want to get weird stares. I get weird stares all the time. Yep. All the time. Clicks Stop, Fino. Clicks it. And <laughs> Fino stares at me all the time. <laughs> is he the problem? Fino is the problem. Yeah, was, was it his store? Fino. Was it his store? <laughs> no. Fino, Fino, Fino how problem. dare you? I'm deleting his episode. That's it. You're canceled, Fino. No, but like I get weird stares all the time. Sure. And it's just like I but I know that it's going to be different this time because I just – I, mean I know – Yeah. I know that at Worlds I'm going to have a different two things. experiences First of all, than I ever have. Know that for a fucking fact. Like there's plenty of people like us. That I know. No, but also like if your partner's not around and mm-hmm. like you experience – Fuck it, come up. Like yeah. watch me confront someone. I don't have a problem. Yeah. And, and well, you, Paul don't does, see, no, no. you don't want to see Angry John. Paul doesn't – No, no. I but do want to see Angry John. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. No, I do. It's a very rare occurrence. I want to see Angry John. Um, No, no, but legit like there's plenty of guys like me that – I'm very protective of the community myself. Yeah. Like I, I invest a lot in the last thing I want is some fucking asshole putting his hand where it doesn't belong. Or, exactly. Like we're talking about cheating mm-hmm. accusations. I, I get very fucking annoyed at that. Yeah. Like stop fucking accusing, mm-hmm. write it down. Exactly. I'll get them banned. Like if you need someone to go and give us evidence, like, like I don't even have people think I'm like on like, I call James White every day. <laughs> it's not, Do he's not? only ever commented on his videos, not mine. You know what I mean? No, no, but right. actually, Tangent. James White follows me on Twitter and I am so confused. <laughs> Why? Because of the things that I post. He liked one of my posts one time and I sent it to Kiki in my group chat and I'm like, do you think he sees my piss tweets? Like, do you think he sees when I t- James, my tweet about piss? can you piss? let us know below? <laughs> What's funny is I'm He's pretty sure James's wife tweets. watches our show more than James himself <laughs> does, actually. I'm going to get a quick unfollow no, no. after this. He, he's like, listen, he needs to have his finger on the pulse too, right? I think that's why he's sometimes not on Twitter when he's busy, he's busy, but he needs to know what the fuck's going on. And like I said, you are somebody like you may not see it that way, but you're a winning cosplayer. You're a part of the community. It's that you're, you're someone that benefits the community. I like characters. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm no, I'm different. Mm -hmm. I know I am. No shit. And (laughs) I like flesh and blood because I can be myself Mm -hmm. And I'm a freak, and that's fine. Yeah. And I like no, no, not in the I way you think. I love characters. I like same with I me. I love characters. I like I don't, individuals. I think that's characters. why I like this podcast yeah. so much because it's. I got really drunk one time, and I. <laughs> I got really drunk one time, and I was in a car, and it was with Elaine and Ethan. It was in Ohio. Okay. And I think Thunder was like three episodes in. And I was just like talking and they're like vintage episodes. It was vintage. Yeah. Vintage funder, like a month. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Anyways. And they're like, oh yeah, what is funder about? And I'm like, yeah, they just like, I like it better than more of them. Cause like they just talk. Yeah. You guys just talk. Basically. You know, we started that was my... with like questionnaires and shit. And we're like, you know what? Like, who the fuck cares? <laughs> That's yeah. why I like this. Cause I get to know people in the community, but I get to know them. Yeah. Like, yeah, everybody, there's a space for sideboard guides. There's a sure. space for that. But there's also a space that nobody is utilizing where you get to learn people. Yep. You mm. get to learn experiences. There are so many different people in this community mm. that are doing so many different things. Like n- everybody, not everybody works in like tech or marketing yep. or sales. You know, there are people Everyone like we've me. had like locally, this story is always fascinating. Exactly. It's different every time. Like there are people like me that I'm pretty sure, well, actually not true. Um, Morgan, she, she's actually a cosplayer. Okay. She's um, invited here. Circus. Circus. Yeah. 
Um, she. I was about to say like it's actually when you put that stuff out. Yeah. And someone's like a when fucking. She, um, I follow. We have we actually follow each other like my personal page and their circus page because she has a twin. She's a twin. Um, she was posting about it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening right now? And then I like did a little more sleuthing. She knows my ex boyfriend, which is so weird. She knows like a lot of people that I know. She she added me on Facebook, and I'm like, what the fuck? Why do we have so many mutual friends? This is kind of weird. And then like it's just so weird that yeah. we never crossed. We we kind of crossed paths, but we never met each other in like the circus world. And now I'm gonna meet her in a weird. She's cosplaying. Yeah, she's official That's cosplayer. Sick. I'm not. Here's what I was gonna tell you. You the, will be. I'm not. The, the you word, will be. The though. word is a click. Like yeah. what you're describing about your local scene is more likely to, more than it's malice. It's yeah. like one group that wants to be their own group. Yeah, and it is. I, it's I, definitely I, a click. As I you can know, think I don't of like, like four people. I don't right filter myself. You then refer to your own click, mm-hmm. but that's the danger in and of itself. Yeah, is it you? It's like a pattern of abuse. Like you see your click as positive. And then some I see people, the other s- no, no, but some negative. people see it as negative. Like if they don't, do you know, understand what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it's just that it's like a girly click as well. It's like, mm-hmm. and that's our safe space. But you understand that's like yeah. I'm not intimidated by it, but I a lot of people will find that. Yeah. Well, I couldn't. I be am it. Yeah. all for the integration. Like I don't. I'm all for integration of different communities and yeah. uh, that. I'm not together. saying like, like there, being aware. There shouldn't just be like. Oh, yeah. like here's a women only thing. Here's a this and that thing. I think it's no, great no, to have that community, that. but I also that. think that it's great that we can all be together. It's about how much energy room. goes in. Exactly. Like, like your click is fine, but like, in the wrong context, exactly. the context it's bad. Yeah, like I am we, so we happy. turn up to our locals. If uh-huh. there's a new player, the mm-hmm. immediate focus is on them. Yeah, the immediate focus is what do you need. Who has that card? Exactly. Loan him a deck. Exactly. Who won the playmat? Fucking give yeah. it to him. Like, pu- there's not even a choice in our group, mm-hmm. but you need like, we're, we're kind of, we. I'd say we're leaders. Like we, you more so originally than me. And then you've played less and I've been, and now I play less and other people are doing it is you've got to also like come out of your space and look around and, if, yeah. and just not be that like, Clicks are fine as long as people feel like they could be in it. Yeah. Or, and it's it's not, they don't need to like, there's no initiation. It's yeah. like, I'll add you to the group chat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Like you still need your friends. It's fine. But it's if that's all you do it for, yeah. that's what happens is your experience is people go, well, they're like way too embedded. And the only way I'm going to get in is like to fucking grovel. Yeah. Do you know, like, cause and I'm just if like, you wanted to draft, you could have said, guys, can I please draft? Yeah, but I'm please? not going to no, no, But no one you know wants I mean? to like, do nobody that. Nobody wants to ask to like be invited Look, to the party. True story. Cause I don't know how people perceive me, but I'm like fairly no bullshit confident. Right. Yeah. This happened to me in jujitsu and nearly made me quit. Like it's actually like the coaches have their friends and they obviously you want to like be friends with the higher belts. The really like the, yeah. the, the, the state champs and stuff. Yeah. And, and people will leave in the gym. And then I sort of train for me so that I, I don't like people enough that I would ever leave over friendships. Mm-hmm. But I noticed that people I thought were friends would go like do a camping trip or something, but they didn't even mention it to me. I would have said no. Like, that's the funny thing. It's I like would, you there's no said, fucking no, way I'm, I'm not camping. Gonna fucking camp, but like no I would way. like to be invited. But, but the fact that you didn't get a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like one of them even like I loaned him a lot of money over COVID to keep him afloat. Mm-hmm. I'm like, the least you should do is say we're going camping. Do you want to come? Like you of all people. Yeah. Like I'm friends enough that I gave you like money. money and I told him, I said, if you never pay me back, don't worry about it. You can't. Do you, do you understand back? what I, no. Oh. He never paid you back. People never pay you back, Paul. That's the truth. People fucking, never pay you back, Paul. Only loan people money you want to give them. That's actually. I'm, I'm a naive right Timmy. Now. People never pay you back money unless you ask them every month. So just ask them every month but if you actually no, no, need but it back. But, <laughs> but asking will ruin the friendship. Like if, but for me, yeah. if I've asked you, we're not friends. Because yeah. you shouldn't forget my pain. Like like I was there when you needed it. Exactly. Then I see you with a new car. My exactly. buddy, we're like, over. Where the fuck it is doesn't, the money? Doesn't, I'm not asking. I'd rather lose the friendship and the money at the same time. I'm fine with that. But um, it was the same thing. And I confronted them. I'm like, what's with this shit? Yeah. And they're like, oh, look, we're just friends. I go, yeah, but we're a community. The minute I feel like you didn't even think about me, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm on the outside. Yeah. Why the fuck would I keep coming? Exactly. Like, why the hell would... They're yes. like, oh, sorry, but we've been friends for a long time. And you, I'm like, I was only awake because I was injured. Like, exactly. You, like, come on. 
But also, like if I if I take a month who off, who is the person you should be inviting? The person on the outside. Exactly. Everyone inside doesn't fucking need an invite. Exactly. You should always look on the outside. If and I go, take a month off, excluded? and that is the only reason why yeah. you are excluding me out, because what am I not like? You see, am I not at the same level as you? Is there a reason? Like, like culture like, shit. Exactly. Do you understand? Exactly. That's oh, why well, it triggers you me. You barely play, so yeah. we, we're not going to invite it's like you. Like you're not on the in, so you're on the out. It's like why? Why is it always us first them? Like exactly. if people play the game. Include them. Exactly. Do your own friend shit too, but publicly you should always be, everyone should feel like they can. You have your own little group chat, but yeah. there should be one where everyone's in. And, exactly. And you should invest time in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I understand should completely. invest time in it, yeah. What, what else? Got? I am busting to go to the loo. I can handle it alone. It's incredible. Can- <laughs> Do you mind? I need to go just badly. Don't Oh my no, no, you, God. whatever. We, everyone's oh, going to know he's God, in the toilet. thank you. I'm just, <laughs> you know, you know, I'm just, You're like, just shaking. Go. Oh, God. For, for his stature, he is a small bladder. <laughs> yeah, very small. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Paul. Hey, Kiki, get in here. Yeah, Say hello. Please, 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 please do. Come on, Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> Put so on the headset. The camera's not set up yes. for you, so act tall. Act okay. tall. Act tall. Yes. Oh, no, you ruined the mic. I've ruined everything. I need to pra- practice So you my need to tighten that mic. No, no, the other one. one. Yep. That's there fine. It'll That's do. Fine. Okay. Kiki, how are you? Hello. Everyone how sort of go? knows who you Hold are, on. too, if they're on Twitter. Yeah, a little bit. But oh, this is the God. first time we meet. See, I've been to New Zealand. You mm-hmm. and Melody yeah. didn't turn up. I'm like, where are the New Zealand celebrities? And no one. <laughs> Fuck. Where in New Zealand did you go? What was it? The... Skirmish. Oh, was the battle hard? Skirmish battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, too far. Well, I was just kind of like saving my leave to go for like nationals and then okay. worlds. So We're like, twins. I work a full time job. Eh, so I don't I see it. To, like, make sure. We're twins. It's it's very non identical. Mexican at all. <laughs> no, but I mean Filipino? Mexican adjacent. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm Filipino. We're, in America, we're both in America, both Spanish you're Spanish Mexican. Adjacent. In America, you're Mexican. That's the problem. No, <laughs> 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 no, like listen. Americans always think everyone's Mexican. Yeah, if you're brown, you're Mexican. Like, if you're not dark enough. I'm actually um, not white enough to be white, um, not dark enough to be Mexican. So. (laughs) Are you half? I'm Mexican, Mexican. You're Mexican, Mexican. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm Arab, Arab, but I'm not. I am. It's not the first thing you guess. My father's Mexican. My, my, like, entire family, entire bloodline. My mother, um, my grandmother is Mexican Mm. on my mom's side, but. My grandfather on my mom's side was adopted. Mm. Okay. So, but she was he was Just adopted. Do one of those DNA tests. Yeah. The only problem I'll this is we'll end on this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> People don't know this, but those DNA tests where you swab and you send uh-huh. it off. Mm-hmm. Do you know how many murders have been solved? Cold oh, case yeah. murders have been solved by oh, that. Oh yeah, because a lot. they go she'll swab and then it's like her grandfather was involved in a hit and run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It suddenly makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So but don't do it if you're worried about I anyone in your family. <laughs> don't think any of my family are murderers, but if they are, honestly, good for them. Good what? for them, like they should get caught or good on them for being <laughs> bad bitches. Like bad <laughs> bitches, exactly. Like, oh my Murder, God, you really? murdered somebody? That's so slay. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> hey, um. <laughs> do you want me to end this without you? Do you want me to end this without you? Are we wrapping up? Oh, yeah. yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Guys, we're going to head off because it's... We, well, you want to keep going? No, no. By the way, we, we could definitely do another episode. Thunder Part 2, Electric sure. Boogaloo. We'll do a vlog. <laughs> yes, we're going to do a vlog. <laughs> um, Guys, we're going to... Yeah, it's an hour 20 in. I love it. It's no one's going to watch this because we banquet. barely talked about <laughs> Flesh and Blood. But that's the point. You guys just talked. The point that's is we're here because we play Flesh and Blood. Exactly. But actually Flesh and Blood is not about Flesh and Blood. Yeah. It's about this. It's about people. That's, that's the whole point. Yes. This is the Flesh it's and Blood podcast. It's about our flesh and actual blood. Yeah. Because we're twins. Because we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> a- any any shout outs? Shout outs? Uh, I'll just Ooh. shout out my uh, sure close friend, Grace, who's my uh, co-worker and soulmate in fab. That's right. You manage a store, right? I do manage a store, yeah. Awesome. We'll come visit. I think next year the calling in New Zealand is happening. I might go a bit early and do a tour. Like, just yeah, go meet people. Come yeah. visit, visit Wellington. Wellington. Uh, I hope the call is in Wellington. I hope so, too. I would love to not have to pay for travel. Oh, that's what we get, right? I am going to make a shout out. <laughs> yes. Shout out to the Ludicolos and then shout out to Ryan Mound for ditching me at Worlds. I am still mad at you. Fuck you, Ryan. Fuck you, Ryan Mound. Say that louder. <laughs> no, that was it. That's all I got. Say it. Fuck you, Ryan Mound. There you go.
Does oh, she ASMR. know no one tells me what to do? She hasn't figured <laughs> that out yet. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You were supposed to dance. I told you I wasn't coming on here until you danced. And you I didn't can dance. get another guest. Well, we already filmed it. You can't get another me. That's the whole point. You got my twin. (laughs) All right, guys. uh, See you soon. Thanks for listening. Oh, also, we're not asking people to subscribe. We both need to remember because we've got way few subscribers. Hit that like button. Hit the like button. Hit that like button. (laughs) 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 Wait, what is it? Like, comment, and subscribe. (laughs) Tap the bell sound. Hit it. (laughs) All right.